Hey you guys, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. You can reach me at Erica S. Williams on Twitter. Again, I'm still on that compound effort all day, all day. I'm talking about it. Uh, two examples I love using is Kevin Hart, uh, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey's got a TV show. He's got a radio show. Uh, he's got, um, gosh, he's got shows in production somewhere. I mean, he's just got unlimited things going on, right? But it's from all the years he was working radio, working stand-up, kings of comedy. That's years and years and years ago. I mean, you name it. He just, like, built it up, built it up, built it up. And he's working, 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 working. And now he's got three books or, yeah, three books. And what's funny is, you know, of course he's been married three times, but he's writing ladies' books on how to get a man. You know, I don't know what kind of man you're getting out of that, but needless to say, there you go. So anyway, um, so the compound effort of that is hitting the hammer so hard that, you know, he could retire any day and be good. But it's sometimes leaving your mark. You know, it's the extra leaving your mark on society and on history the history books. Kevin Hart, 15 years he was going and doing and being behind the scenes and, and no one knowing his name. And, and then all of a sudden, you know, even Dame Dash found Kevin Hart. That's how, that's how long ago Dame, uh, Kevin Hart been out. Um, but in the past five years, he's made $40 million. Why? Yeah, he's coming out with movies nonstop. They all seem similar, but it's the hitting the hammer. Hitting the hammer while it's hot. Um, and enjoying that money and enjoying that next level and so it's compound effort Alabama Shakes the band Alabama Shakes you know they were hitting the road and doing shows and finally that one of their songs got picked up by a Zell's commercial and it was like from Zell's commercial to Saturday Night Live to t tours to like you know what I mean that whole time Black Keys is just dominating the market of that kind of bluesy feel there's bands like Alabama Shakes who are out there on the road you know, trying to get into that wavelength. And as Black Keys kind of relaxed a little bit and took a break, that bands like Alabama Shakes and other things have been able to rise to the top and, and enjoy that success and enjoy the compound effort of results, right? So I'm not going to tell you if you're a 40-year-old rapper in your hometown to give up. No, no, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you, though, I want you, if I call you, you should have at least two or three CDs. You should have two or three CDs, and you should already learn from Ryan Leslie and others how to do a tour overseas in Europe and be touring. Same thing with musicians who are like, I'm a diehard musician. Go tour. Go tour. Put your albums together. It, don't tell me how much it costs. Don't give me all this bullshit. There's a kid who put his album together and I, an Apple. Literally went to the Apple store every day for four months and sang into the, at the store. Put an album together and had it on iTunes. And your excuses are what? Come on, be, be, be realistic. What are your excuses? Because that's what they are, they're excuses. Because you could be giving that same compound effort to your life. Uh, everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog asking you to go out and hit it hard. You guys have a great day.